take from the last meeting against Purdue, and uh, does emotion go into it too? You know, the fact that you guys haven't beaten them in a while. Uh, do you come in with a little chip on your shoulder? Um, I think every time we play uh, an opponent, or Purdue especially, that um, we come in with a chip on our shoulder. But I mean, there's probably some little bit of emotion behind it because of the past games over the years. But I'll say yeah. Go ahead. Um, just yeah, to stick on that topic, I guess. I mean, when you guys look back at film, if you have looked back at film, yeah, I mean, what's the, what are some of the biggest things that stand out? That this thing has to get better if, if you have any chance, of, you know, beating them and turning around this time. Great, Bruce. Uh, I would say um, just the effort level overall. Just continue to play as hard as we can. We've been the toughest team for the longest time, and that's how we win games. Did you have a question? Uh, for Devontae, I mean, having been through it now as a senior, been, been through the Big Ten grind, I mean, you guys had your, your games against teams like Florida State. Um, how do you kind of take those performances like you did last week and start, start to string it into three, four consecutive wins as opposed to those singular performances? Uh, I think like Ray said, we got to just continue to play hard and um, stick to what we do because it's been going really well for us. And um, I think we're just getting used to um, playing the way we've been playing. So I think we can string it up together. Devonta, uh, when you start to get inconsistent, how do you find a way to bounce back? Um, I mean, I control what I can control. And um, I mean, coming up the best of times, I come in hitting, and sometimes I don't come in hitting. And when I don't, I'm instructed to do other things. So I just follow the role that I'm given, and sometimes that role can be inconsistent. Uh, Devontae, it, it is a small sample size, yeah, going off that, but you've been in double figures each of the last two games. Has there kind of been, have you found something to maybe try to be a little bit more consistent than you were earlier in the year? Um, I mean, basketball is a game of rhythm, and it's not always easy finding the rhythm. But, um, I mean, when I do, it's, it's, uh, it goes a lot better for me and for us as a team. But I think um, all of our guards have this problem finding the rhythm and it's not like we have a ton of plays called to get us in that rhythm. So I mean, we just gotta find the rhythm for the time that we're on the floor. Uh, Coach Miller was talking about how you guys have played better defensively uh, the last couple of games. And what would you say is uh, characteristic of what you guys have been able to do defensively the last couple of games been so much better? Go ahead and answer that, Reese. Uh, I would just say overall toughness. Uh, just really find a way to be as tough as we can. I appreciate Coach Smith preaching being the top of the team for a longer period of time, and that's basically what the defensive goals are. Grace, for you personally, they keep knocking you down with injuries. You keep coming back stronger. Coach said you're playing career basketball right now. How does it feel for you personally <coughs> with the way you are playing right now and how much you're able to contribute to this team? I mean, I know I had it in me. I think the team knew I had it in me. Um, I mean, I don't think it's coming to like it's a real surprise to anybody on the team, as the coaches, the players, or anybody. I mean, it's every day in practice, just a confidence thing when it comes to games. You know, so it's just confidence is really the main thing. Okay, anything else for these guys? Jesus. <laughs> no, just just me. Um, forgive me if this has already been asked in some form, but Devonte, you guys, you know, really pride yourselves on being able to play big, defend really well around the rim, rebound. What's different though offensively when a guy like Race is in there, maybe at the floor? What what changes, I guess, about what you guys can do, just the way you can spread the floor or the way that you, you can attack teams? Um, he helps us spread the floor, for sure, because um, he can shoot it. And, um, I mean, he, he just comes in and does the little things that we need when we need a big rebound or, or a big stop or even a good screen set at the top, then he comes in and does that. Uh, Devontae, obviously, you can't read your mind or anything, but you had your, your arms held up after the, the game yesterday, or the game against Penn State. Obviously, it was a big win for you guys, but is, was there also a little bit of relief there? Like, you guys kind of, looks like you guys are kind of beginning to work through some of the ups and downs that, that have really hit the season? Um, yeah, I mean, some sort of relief, just um, winning back to back. It's always a good feeling, and um, we haven't had that feeling in a while, so it was a good feeling after that game.
Grace, what do you think has made you know the combination of you and Trace in the front court, um, you know, so so effective lately in terms of rebounding and just scoring points and kind of dominating the paint? I mean, like you know, they said, uh, I feel like when I'm in the game, they can't just sit in the lane and stay off me. Like if Joe were in the game, he doesn't shoot threes really, so they can really cause the lane up using that. And I mean, that's about it. All right, guys. Thanks.